Good afternoon, we're here once again. We're gonna do a little coffee with Coach. The coffee part will follow the workout part, and I'm with uh, Audi Natasha. Yes? <laughs> part of our Upeha uh, Girls Basketball Championship Basketball team. Woo! Um, we're gonna do a workout together. Last year, in preparation for the uh, national, um, we did workouts together. Today, we're going to do uh, thrusters. And we're gonna take 20% uh, of our body weight in each hand. So for me, it's 15 kilos in each hand. Uh, I'm not gonna ask Audi how much she weighs, uh, but anyway, she's got her weights, uh, which she will use. And we're going to go 20 reps per set. Uh, we're going to get it done in less than a minute. And then we're going to take a break. We're going to come back and we'll do it five times. So it's not a long exercise, but it's a challenging exercise because you are, you're working every muscle from your heel all the way up through your neck. And it's, it's not only muscular strength and, and muscular uh, endurance, but it's also cardiovascular because you're gonna do it 20 times and your, your heart and lungs get blown up as you do this. So, um, this should be a good one. Uh, we've done this before and it's, uh, it's always a challenge. So, any last words for your, <laughs> your fan base out there before we start? Fighting. <laughs> Fighting. Fighting this, not fighting me. Yeah, yeah. fighting this. Uh, probably I should say something about this white thing on my face. Monday, I, I had surgery on my face uh, to remove uh, uh, cancer. This this bandage will come off in the middle of this workout for sure. Because I'll start sweating. Yeah, it's going to come off. But we don't miss workouts. Okay. Alright. So let's get started. Try to get the fourth quarter and excel. The fifth set we do is going to be easy because we know we're not done. And at Upe Ha, if we go to overtime, fifth set, we kill it. Why? Because we're in shape. We're ready to go in the fifth set. The lifting is hard enough. So, 15 
Keep those in each hand hard enough. But when you're pushing, because you gotta get it done. You wanna get it done as fast as you can. Oh. Yeah, that's a hard enough. Mm -hmm. How are you, Adi? <laughs> Pussy? Oh. Yeah, especially the... Yeah. But we did it, yeah? Okay, good job, guys. Okay, so uh, this is, uh, again, uh, coffee with coach, but actually, Audi doesn't drink coffee, so this is tea with coach. Um, and today we're supporting NYC, or they're supporting us, so uh, Audi is one of our residents, so it kind of makes sense. We have some you know, scholarship athletes in the dorm, so, uh, so thank you, NYC, for all your support. Um, my uh, my relationship with Audi is definitely regarding basketball. You grew up kind of at Upea College, and, and Fajar was your coach there. And then Coach Fajar obviously is your coach at, at uh, Upeha. But uh, recognizing your your talent, recognizing uh, the attitude of which you have, but really for me it was uh, recognizing your intelligence. Uh, you understand the game. You understand what you're trying to accomplish and you're a good teammate. And for, for somebody who's gonna sign off on a scholarship, those are great attributes. Uh, intelligence, uh, being a good teammate, um, understanding the game. So again, congratulations on uh, winning the uh, national championship and um, the success you've had here at Upeha. Um, so let's, let's, since we mentioned NYC, just mm. maybe you could say something about uh, the, the dorm which you live in here at, at Upeha. I think the, uh, before COVID, it's, it's so fun to live in dorm because like we have a lot of friends, um, not just sport though, there's uh, another faculty live there, right? Mm -hmm. So um, we do a lot of things together, so I think like, uh, it's really fun for me to experience the uh, dorm living. Yeah. But your your faculty here at Upea is actually one of the most challenging. Yeah. I mean, no no uh, you know no offense to the business school people, but the fact of the matter is, design and mm -hmm. architecture is really hard. And and then living in the dorm, it's even more difficult in some ways because limited space. Yeah. Now the advantage is you're on campus and you can go back and forth pretty easy. But how do you how do you keep up with your studies uh, and play basketball at the same time? I think um, there's a part where um, my friends, my teammates, uh, has a part of my school life because um, there's a time where um, in the midterm. Um, they help me to do uh, hmm. my models and stuff. Okay. So yeah, that's the that it's living in dorm. Okay. I think. So you have you have a whole bunch of helpers. Yeah. People, okay. And probably the business school people help because they don't have <laughs> much to do. No, just just kidding. Don't 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 get upset. Um, that's that's a good way to see it. Actually, you just have a bunch of friends yeah. who you live with who can also help and support. Hmm. That's great. We've had a few, uh, Bellin um, and uh, Fallon, uh, some, some architecture, and you know, trying to get ready for morning practices when you've been up till you know, 3 or 4 a.m., hard to do, right? Yeah. But, you've, but you've done it so far. You're, you're in your third year, mm -hmm. and your GPA is still good, right? And your success on the court, and I think from what I see, you're a success in life as far as your you have good friendships, good relationships. Um, and I think building relationships at university is really important, important. yeah? yeah. Uh, how, how did you meet, you meet me back? How did I, how did I? Is it in college or? Okay, how did I meet uh, my wife? Right? Yeah. This is that. Um, well, it's interesting you ask about college. I mean, you know, realize that 70% uh, uh, of people who get married Mm -hmm. meet somebody in college oh, okay. yeah and so you know chances are you've met somebody already whether you know it or not you mm -hmm. probably have <laughs> um, but Beck and I we went to college together but we actually met as little kids mm -hmm. so we were we were little kids and then 
I knew her, she knew me, our families knew each other. And then we didn't live in the same place until high school. In my last couple of years of high school, I moved to her hometown. And then we ended up going to university together as a rela in a relationship. Mm -hmm. And we dated for four years and then got married between our junior and senior year of, of uh, in university. Oh. So we were married for one year in university. Oh. And now we've been married 34 years. So, yeah. Are you in a relationship right now? I am. I'm currently in a relationship. Currently in a relationship? Yeah. Okay. Can you say his name or is it, or is it still um, private? No, it's not private. Okay. Everybody can see it in my Instagram account. Okay. Uh, um, his name is Randy. Okay. Randy, is he from Upeha? No. Um, he's from Upeha College, but uh, he's currently studying in Pastiamulia. Okay. Okay. Interesting. <laughs> so... Is this a long-term relationship or is it? Yeah, you know? um, I met him when I um, when the, the first day I went to this school. So um, I dated him like a year or two years after. I, uh, but yeah, it's still uh, going. <laughs> okay. All right. Is he a pretty good guy? Yeah. Okay. Does he treat you really well? Uh, yeah. Okay. How do you uh, explain explain the what do you mean about? Um, does he does he treat you like the world revolves around you? Is, is, does he treat you like you are a princess? Does he treat you like his he would die if he didn't have a chance to be near you? Does he treat you like you the 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 water parts when you walk? Oh. Does he treat you like everything? Like if you're holding a cup, he just wants to hold that cup because you held it. Does he does he want to sacrifice everything for you? I think so. <laughs> wow, Randy, you are amazing. Um, I will look for you. I will find you. And I will. So, yeah, because honestly, girls, uh, you do have girls who follow you, not yeah. just uh, girls. If the guy doesn't treat you like. Um, you're a princess when you're dating, he'll never treat you special when you're married. If he's not willing to, to um, swim the ocean for you, climb the highest mountain, sacrifice his last rupiah to make you happy when you're dating, you'll never get that once you're married. And that's the truth. Now that doesn't mean that you're in charge of everything. You don't, you don't control everything. Uh, he's still a man, I'm assuming, um, but he understands that you're that special and, and he, he, he has to know that because you're that special, he's going to give you everything he's got. Mm -hmm. yeah. For a year, third year of university, you yeah. still have a lot to do. Yeah. Are you going to go on to get your master's? Um, I don't know. I'm, uh, I want to spend um, a year or two years to uh, experience um, working as an okay. architect. Okay. So, uh, before you get a master's, or, or yeah, just, um, or before I'm you still get... thinking about it. Okay. Do you have any any aspiration or desire to like go overseas for a while, or? Yeah. Um. Over. Um. I don't know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know yet. Okay. Well, I I think it would be you know just, I mean the, I've spent a uh, a lot of time in Europe. I love I love Europe and to go. I had a, uh, uh, I know a friend who spent uh, a year in Milan just looking at architecture, just, just studying buildings, just, just walking around, drawing sketches, taking pictures, um, and uh, she loved the experience. So, yeah, I don't know, maybe, you know, take a little bit of time, travel, uh, see the way they do things in different cultures and different parts of the world. It might be very interesting for you. So, how, how have you maintained your life? Uh, have you maintained your, uh, you know, your working out, your physical, I mean, we just did a workout. That's a tough workout, right? Yeah. I mean, for anybody, you know, thrusters with, with heavy weight or uh, that type of weight is tough. But what, how have you stayed in shape? Uh, how have you stayed uh, excited about life? Uh, what have you done the last six months? 
Um, last six months, I will work out uh, at home, mostly. Yeah. Uh, I work out, um, yeah, a simple workout like um, high intensity workout. Like, um, I don't lift weight uh, for a couple months mm -hmm. now, uh, but um, body weight is fine, right? Uh, sure, to, oh, body weight's great. Yeah, yeah. To maintain your body and mm -hmm. uh, probably jogging, cycling. Okay. Stuff. So you're staying busy. Yeah. Okay. Um, studying architecture online, has that been good? Has it been, how's the challenge? What, how, what's different about it? It's pretty weird uh, at first yeah. because uh, we have to shift all um, from um, Protect, uh, yeah, the physical yeah. models. Yeah, physical models to digital models. Yeah. All digital. So uh, it's pretty weird uh, at first, but now I think it's because um, in this um, right right now in this world, um, technology means everything, right? So sure. okay. um, so uh, like I think it's more uh, convenient to us. Uh, to our client also, if we yeah. can do our modeling in digital way, so. So, so, so in some ways it's been beneficial. Hmm. In some ways you've gotten a yeah. benefit hmm. from this. That's interesting. I actually um, have an apartment and an uh, architecture student, design student, uh, I know architecture or just interior design, did a rendering of my yeah. apartment, but all digital and put in, you know, beds and cabinets and everything. Yeah. And it was actually part of the project they did here at Upeha. Mm -hmm. And they did a really good job with it. But I, that's that's good. I mean, actually, it's a, it could be a real benefit to you in the yeah. future. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think so. It's really good, though. But I think you, you just miss out on the relationship. Yeah. Yeah. A lot. Like, um, but I still uh, meet my friends for okay. um, project, group project. Okay. So you still have group projects? Yeah. Oh, that's good. That's good. Okay. Um, well, I know that you are looking forward to defending your championship and, and yes. having a back-to-back -back opportunity. Obviously, this year, there's no there's no basketball. But hopefully in 2021, um, we'll get a chance to, to watch you guys uh, play again. Yeah. And it was so exciting for me to watch Upeha win. I, you know, I've, since 2004, you know, the guys have had a lot of success and the girls have had a lot of heartbreak. Mm -hmm. they, they've lost games that, that um, they had a chance to get there and they just couldn't get over the top. But I told Fajar, I, I think Fajar is the uh, coach of the future in women's basketball, collegiate basketball here in this country. And I told him, just, just do this. Just get your team, prepare them and give it a shot. And honestly, you guys, you made me so happy. All the girls who had played here for all these years, and so many of them came and supported you guys and watched you guys. Um, I think the whole of Upeha basketball just celebrated. Um, I mean, we, we hated losing that night, but the fact of the matter is seeing you guys win was, was incredible. Um, and you were an important player on the team and, and an important person within our community. So, well, thank you for, uh, coming and, and having a conversation with me and, and uh, supporting NYC. And, um, any any last parting thing you want to say to your your Instagram followers? Um, keep practicing, keep working out, but maintain your body so you can sit, uh, keep healthy, uh, keep your healthy life and stay safe. All right. Well, uh, again, in, in everything we do, we try to uh, create a value structure. Um, I know that you, uh, you, you know, went to Upeha College, um, Christian School, here you are at Upeha Christian School. Um, our sport department, we, we do our best to hold up values and have an um, idea of what's important. And uh, our, our values of athletic perfection, process-oriented, eternal perspective. Uh, I, I appreciate the fact that you've bought into this. Um, you see the value in it um, and I hope that uh, the, the people who follow you also recognize that your character is you, you've got great character um, you understand the direction you're going um, and yeah we're blessed 
that you're here. You're blessed you're part of our, our program. So, again, uh, have a great uh, week, and Laura will upload this and mm -hmm. put it out there once again. And uh, thank you for being here. Thank you, we're good. Right. <laughs> okay. See you.